Bismillah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Brother Yusuf Chamber. Um, so, I don't know if you want to tell us about your experience in uh, such an event. Is that your first time in Newcastle exactly? And how many times um, you've participated in such an experience, um, such a Discovery Stand Week around, around UK? Yeah, Bismillah. It's been very good to uh, come here to Newcastle. Not my first time anyway. I've been here several times with uh, IDC. Um, and um, what I've seen here is it's been very well organized, very well attended, lots of engagement with. Uh, Excuse me, can I have everyone's attention just for a few seconds? Fantastic. Sorry, I apologize. I won't be talking about what, what do you think will be our main purpose of such an event? So that Introducing Islam or clear, clearing the misconceptions? Well, clarification of the uh, misconceptions around the faith uh, is really important in this day and age where the media is peddling a whole stack of lies against normative Islam. So this is, this is, this is definitely happening. You know, you can see this. Yeah. This is happening in, in this environment. And, um, a lot of really good, positive uh, feedback from the people who are attending. And you just brought up a great um, topic that we always talk about, the media. I mean, I don't know how many people come to you every day asking you about clarification. But will we generalize if we say that Islam has been hacked by the media only. Is it? Is it? Can we not blame ourselves as Muslim, or we should blame the media only? No, I mean, I mean, you can say it's half a dozen or one or six or the other, but the main problem is with the Muslim community because they, for years and years, we've lived in these. We live in the West, and we've disengaged from the mind, from the mainstream society. We haven't. Um, added value and oftentimes we've hidden our faith behind our back which is hypocrisy you know, we've got to be out there and pushing out the message and that's part of our it's part of our narrative it's part of our it's part of our raison d'etre we should be out there discussing and pushing for a better society, whether that means the environment, whether it means uh, you know cleaning up our street or getting rid of drugs, getting rid of prostitution, pornography, and God knows what. We should be working against those things, you know. And Muslims should be at the forefront of those things. But they only do it in their own communities. Even then, they do it. Don't do it hardly do it at all. And that's true. I mean. What you said is for us to be in the, in the front and fight all those negative um, um, habits of, of life in the West. And um, for, for us as, as Muslims, what we lack to show our faith, as you said, what in your opinion, what you think was, what are we missing? When you said people are like being hypocrite and hiding their religion, what's the main thing again? Are we going back to the media again? Or are we just it's confident? We, we we lack the confidence and the ability to have a good conversation about our faith because we ourselves haven't really understood our faith. Therefore, we we don't feel confident to have a good conversation. Because the bottom line is, the first person you should be challenging about faith is yourself. What do you really understand about your faith? If you don't understand your faith, you can't have an honest, decent conversation with anyone coming into a tent like this. Are we, are we ready to introduce Islam? as a ruling system, and it's, it's, it's just to complete what you've been saying. I know we said sometimes ourselves as Muslims, we don't know what we talk about, but if, uh, with, the, with the books we have now, no, with no, the no, researches no. we have now, are we, are we ready to introduce it as a no, complete... We're too... We're too uh, uh, right now, like I said, you know, we don't have that knowledge, so we don't have the ability and the confidence to speak about the faith properly. 
How can we implement something we don't understand properly? See, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, he spent 40 years just dealing with the people. Before any wahi came, before any revelation came, so he already created that foundation. And he'd already established Islam before Islam came. What have we got? So I'm not going to be putting words in your mouth, but let me try to say what you're saying is that we should be an example first before we try to yeah. show the real Islam or what we yeah. say, a ruling system. We should be. We should be a great example. We should Are be we? the best of examples. Are we in, this, no, in the West the now? Not at the moment. We're totally disengaged from the mainstream society and when we are engaged in mainstream society it's only because we want to do it for business. For, uh, you know, to improve our own financial, economic status. Final words? Hmm? Final words? Say to, to discover Islamic, the community, to everyone who's working on, on this project. The thing I like about this uh, effort that um, Newcastle Ice Soccer put on here in the university is the fact that it's, it's not just Islamic lectures and no engagement. This is real time engagement. <clears throat> sustained engagement for a whole week. I think that these guys must be hitting off on literally thousands of people that they're engaging with properly. So I think I would advise people to support this course and um, also to implement it in their own universities, schools and colleges as well. Mark Thank you very much, brother. Yeah.